So I've gotten a couple questions lately about how I made certain graphics on my website. Uh, and the ones that people have actually been asking about um, are these ones right here. These kind of these header logo banner style um, graphics, kind of almost like ads. And what this is is simply just kind of like an ad for uh, the WordPress course, the video tutorials that I offer. Um, it's kind of just an ad for that to, to link to a landing page that I have. Right, and so people have been asking about this one and also the one that I have after the post, right? And in my opinion, they're actually quite professionally done. They look pretty nice, uh, but the thing is, they were actually very, very simple to make. I actually made them in about one to two minutes. The longest part that it took is what I actually wanted to write on there, but to actually make it, it was very, very simple. Um, and actually the program that I used, it wasn't Photoshop, wasn't Illustrator, it was something much, much easier than those and it's something that I use for blog images uh, every single day. And that tool that we're going to be using is called Canva. And I did a little uh, blog entry about this before, kind of a, a review of this before. But this time I want to actually show you how to create some of these um, illustrations or, or, or photos. And these took very, very little time to make, and they're very easy to use. It's literally a drag and drop interface. Uh, so I want to just show you how to exactly make it. Before we do that, I'll just talk a little bit about what some of these things are. All right, so let's go in into our, the actual main page of Canva, and we'll see that this is where we would log in. And I'm not too sure, this is in the beta stage of the website, and they say to give instant access, you have five accounts left. So I'm not too sure, um, maybe they're uh, restricting access now, or maybe they're gonna charge in the future, but for right now, it's free to use, uh, it's very simple to use, and I think that it has a lot of potential in the future. But pretty much what you do here is you can select different sizes. You know, this is a Google Plus photo, it's 1240 by 700, social media photo, 800 by 800. They just have different sizes for you to choose from. Let's just choose any of them. The one that we're going to do is the social media. Um, and so from here, what it's going to do, it's going to give us a blank can canvas to work with. Uh, and you'll see that there's different layouts. So these are kind of like templates or themes like in WordPress that you can just click and edit from there, right? If you wanted to start from something and just make a small changes from there. You can feel free to do that as well. Um, there's different text that you can add, um, different little blocks of quote um, in, in different badges. They have different backgrounds to use. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add that same background that we had in our original uh, banner ad. But one thing I wanna mention is this bottom right corner. You see it's free for all these ones and it's $1. Uh, for the bottom right. So the Canva has a freemium business module where you know for the majority or not the majority maybe there's a lot of things that are free a lot of things that you can easily make beautiful graphics with that are free and then they have other ones that are um, charged just a dollar to pay for them. Uh, so yeah you know very very so still there's a lot of things to choose that are free you saw there's a lot of text that was free as well and different layouts and different pictures and so you know there's many things that you can make from here uh, but yeah that's kind of their freemium module so the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to add a little text widget and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the text over um, and we'll, but we're going to actually do it here alright so what we're going to do is copy the text over and you can just drag it right drag it to make it a little bit bigger and we'll see what the font was, that alpha slab one. And see, there's so many fonts that you can choose from that you literally can make anything you want. And I believe the size of the actual font was 36, so we'll change that as well. And we'll just drag this over to make it a little bit bigger so everything can fit inside. And you can just drag it up to wherever you want it to go. And so the next thing that I want to show you is how to add this picture, right, in that picture in the corner. So what we're going to do here is just search for it. So you're going to search for something, and what I found it was in technology. You see there's many different shapes, lines, banners, buttons that you can choose from. And so you're just going to drag it and drop it in. All right. And from here, you're just going to make it a little bit smaller so it just fits better. And I kind of liked it in that corner where it was kind of visible, kind of not. So it just doesn't detract from the main purpose of your website. Um, and here you can drag a photo or upload your own. And that's what we had before is we actually had a picture 
of the actual WordPress course. As you can see, you literally just drag and drop it in and it, it formats everything for you, right? And so the next thing that I wanna do is let's try to get one of these text uh, boxes. We may not do both of them just because they're exactly the same. Um, we'll just add a subtitle right here and we'll double click it and paste it in. Oh, I missed it. Okay, and paste it in and we'll extend it so it's a little bit bigger and if I recall correctly it was uh, Lucida Light or Lolita one. That was the font that we used. Um, and it should update, yeah. It takes, a, it takes a little bit of time for it to upload. Sometimes it's a little bit slower. Uh, but yeah, we'll just put that right here. And the thing that I did miss though is if we wanted to add that little line. If we looked in our demo, we have a little bit of a line, kind of a break that we can add. So how do we add that? So we go into search and we scroll up into lines. And there's literally you know, hundreds of lines that you can choose from or dividers that you can choose from. Uh, let's just choose any of them. We'll grab this one and we'll just plop it in right there. Okay? Right. And so that's pretty much it. Now let's just, we could add the, the additional text right here, but I'm not gonna do that, not for this video, simply because it's exactly the same. But yeah, you can add it right here. Choose whichever font you want. Let's just add a button, all right? And so the button that we're gonna do, we're just gonna click buttons. And we're just going to drag it and drop it in. Same thing as before, you can resize it to however big you want. And so we're just going to shrink it down a little bit. And when we double click on it, we should be able to just change the font of it. Let's just say join now. And we'll move this off to the side like that. And so if you want to just, you know, export this right now, you could perfectly just export this right now. You can add more text. Whatever you want to change, you know, it's very easy to do. Um, you can just slide things over, just move them over, however you want. But in order to actually publish this, there's one of two ways, right? Because this we use all free images, uh, you know, you can just publish it right here. We just press link and publish. Um, and then you can publish the image, right? And it says that you're able to publish the design free of charge because you use only one free Canva element and your own images. If you do end up using any of the elements that are charged, you'll get charged by that, right? And so you can download it right there and then it'll open up um, in your viewer, in your preview, whatever, whatever program that you use. And you can just screenshot from here or you can just screenshot directly uh, from the Canva website simply because we use all free graphics anyways. So it doesn't really matter. We're not... Um, cheating the system or, or doing anything that we shouldn't be doing right so that's fairly simple fairly good looking um, graphic in my opinion you can use this for making if you want to make ad ad banners um, you know header images or even if you just want to make simple blog images kind of like for your you know the featured image or thumbnails things like that you know definitely very doable with the canva website very easy to use interface and it really there there is no learning that you have to do it's it's all right here for you